And voila! <laughs> it's like a work of art, man! <gasps> May the hungriest dude win! <laughs> Can you give me a hand? Coming, Fred. I'll even give you two hands. <laughs> like that's it! I'm out of here! <sighs> Me too! Like I am done with other people's mysteries! From now on, it's you and me, Scoob, hunting down the biggest mystery of all. Hello? Yeah, the mysterious sounds coming from my empty stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like you smell that? Let's go, Scoob. Uh -huh. Hey, Scoob, come on. It's like up here, dude. Food! Yummy! <laughs> You're a little late. Oh man, like that smells so good. This stew? I'm making it for you boys. For us? Like, do you know us? Of course. Why else would I be making this incredibly delicious concoction? <laughs> she definitely <Yeah>. knows us. <laughs> so, like, serve it up then. Patience, Shaggy. It's not finished. Not finished? No, Scooby. It is missing some very important ingredients. Special ingredients. Well, <laughs> we just happen to be mystery solvers, specializing in finding missing ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> In order to find these particular ingredients, you must prove yourselves first. Head to the dojo. There will be a beast there. Defeat it. Then we will talk. But, 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 but beast? Can't we just get them from the market? Head to the dojo and complete my challenge before you return. Get him, Scooby-Doo! Our tummies depend on it! Phew! That was a close one! Let's hop back for some stew, man! Oh. oh! So, like, we hopped over to the dojo. Very good. So, like, when do we get to eat? <laughs> it's almost time for pre supper supper! Patience, soon. First, more ingredients. You must travel to the desert town of El Muncho and... El Muncho? Far from here, but you can take your mystery machine, and I will instruct you with my radio when you arrive. You must not tell the others. Here, you'll be needing this. Now, please, you must leave me. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. You give us a camera and offer us food? <laughs> what are you, like Santa Claus? No, no, I am Lila, and I have lived in this swamp my whole life. I was born to a traveling family, and they left me behind. Like, why did you have to stay here? I cannot tell you, but I must never leave this swamp. Well, sure you can. Come take a ride to El Muncho in the mystery machine. I warn you, do not tempt me. You endanger us all. I can feel it. You must leave, now! Ideas yet, Scoob? Like I'm fresh out, man. Me too. Well, that's it, I guess. Cause I got nothing. <sighs> yep. Yeah. But like that stew smells so good, man. <laughs> and we won't have any unless we go to El Muncho. Uh, 
Chinkies? A holiday? Huh? We can squeeze that into our schedule. Bye. Who was that, Velma? Costington. Jeepers. We haven't seen him since the food festival. I'll go grab the guys. <laughs> hey guys, can we talk for a second? Why don't you head around to the back of the mystery machine and use the road map to show Fred where to go? Yeah, I don't know, Shaggy. You can't just go wandering around when we get there. We're seeing Costington. Oh. Yeah, what's so important anyway? You've never even been here before. What? <laughs> well, if this place isn't the definition of ghost town... What's going on here? Where is everyone? Hmm, that's a bit strange. Like I've got the creeps, man! <laughs> <gasps> Hold it right there, troublemakers! <sighs> oh, man! Like, I guess this place doesn't have room service! Velma, any ideas? Still thinking. Who's that in the other cell? Looks like a local. He's gotta know something. Hola, senors. I am Esteban. I do not know why I'm here. Maybe I was bad. I don't know. I can't remember being naughty. You see, the sheriff, he is loco. Like, you mean he's crazy? Si, loco. I cannot even remember how long I've been in here for. Um, like, dude, that long? Si, two days is a long time. But the sheriff, he is a funny one. I thought you said he was more the crazy type. Si, crazy funny. If he gets too crazy, he falls asleep. <laughs> it is funny. Like, man, I think this whole place is a bit funny. <laughs> Psst, Shaggy, I have a plan. Hey, you. You can't just lock us up for no reason, you know. Yeah, man, like we're only tourists. <laughs> you see my badge? I'm the law in these parts. Plus, I know you're the ones causing all the trouble around here. And you call yourselves El Scariachi. El Scariachi? We're Mystery Inc. And if you're the sheriff, where's your deputy? I ask the questions around here. You do look like you could use a hand. Me? The sheriff? I don't need any help, and I certainly don't need you questioning my authority. You don't look like much of a sheriff. Yeah, like I'm more scared of hunger pains. <laughs> Listen here, you... you troublemakers. I'm the best sheriff this town has ever seen. Why, I ought to... I ought to... <laughs> Way to go, gang. See, I told you. Hey, Shaggy, now's our chance. Why don't you and Scooby look for a way out? All right, Scooby-Doo, it's up to us. Let's break out of this lunchless prison. Okay. Like, I don't know who this El Scariachi guy that the sheriff mentioned is, but he sounds too scary for us. Oh, boy. You smell that, Scooby-Doo? Hamburgers? Freedom, man. The sweet smell of... Yeah, hamburgers. Uh -huh. Shaggy, Scooby, you're close. Hey Shaggy, over here, in the- The sheriff is mumbling in his sleep something about explosives. Might help us get out of here. Why don't you sneak around and record him? Okay. Alright Scooby-Doo, time to record the shabby sheriff. Need more gunpowder. Uh, if there's one thing I love besides food, Scoop. Oh! 
for guys dressed like mariachis. They were to marry at all. <laughs> Guys, the sheriff is gone. Quick, throw the barrel at the fireworks. Hi, <laughs> caramba! That was amazing! Trippy colors, man! Nothing like a good meal after a show! Let's get to Costington's! Costington. Hmm. I wonder what he's been up to since the mystery of Keystone Castle. I'm pretty sure Costington... No! You have uncovered my masterful disguise! You like? I will be undetectable to the human eye! Zombies? Well... I don't sing the fancy frogs. <laughs> I am impervious to les zombies. Now, you two go. I have froggy business to take care of. Let's hope this... But this is what I pay you for, is it not? I know you're not exactly a bodyguard, but this is more of a garbage removal job. Please, go inside and take care of it. Oops! The blasted thing is still on. I must stop doing that. Who is it? Hello. Mystery Inc. What an unpleasant, <clears throat> unexpected surprise. It's like, dude, we came as soon as Velma dropped the phone. Phone? What is this nonsense? I don't have a phone installed yet. Oh well, come inside. Why am I here? Good day. I expect you're here to solve this confounding mystery. This place has been stocked by strange things ever since I found the... You almost spilt the beans there. Ever since that wretched harmonica could be heard. Hmm. It always seems to start in the cemetery. And then El Scariachi, the zombie king, and his bandito fellows appear to terrorize the town. I had Romero, my butler, lock the cemetery some time ago. He still has the key. You can find him inside. Is this the place? I... I cannot marry. I have this job. Ay, 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 help! Stand by your man! Where is my prince? Such a pretty boy came so long! Okay, let's do it. We've got real troublemakers to take care of. Let's go and speak to Romero. Muchas gracias. I thought I was done for. There are still more of those zombie brides in the rooms on this floor. Can you clear them out for Costington? I am no match for them. Gracias. I had feared for the worst. You want me to open the cemetery? Hmm. Can I ask you a favor? For sure, man. Ah, this is a good partnership. I will open the cemetery for you, if you could help me get my instrument back. Costington hid it from me. I saw him put it in the reading room somewhere. You can find it on the second floor. Like the only books I read are recipe books, but let's check this one out. 
Hmm. It appears that all these shelves are missing books. Ah, oh, Sissy, this is it! You have made me very happy. I will now open a cemetery path for you. But first... Okay. Can you take a photo of me and my harmonica? Happy memories! This is a happy moment! Please! Bueno, bueno, gracias! Head to the cemetery path gate. I will meet you there. You there! What are you doing here? This area is for gravekeepers only. Me and my brother. Hi there. So, you want to get into the new cemetery, huh? My less intelligent brother has the second key to open the gate. But the stupid clown has let that local sheriff lock him up. Help me break him out of jail and I might help you. For sure, man. Good. I hit a pipe and my tunnel has flooded with water. Fetch me the valve handle from the old cemetery further along this path and be quick about it. Zoinks! <laughs> Cemeteries aren't really my cup of soda, you dig? No way, man. Run! My deputy? Come on, turn the handle. My brother will be an old man by now. <laughs> you must do one more thing, see? Make sure no one goes near our shack, including you, comprende? That collapse seems to have given us a way in. Let's look for some clues. you told the doctors, remember? See, but this is not the same. These voices are real. We need help. Correction, you need help. Anybody, please, we are trapped in jail. Help us. You heard him. The twins need our help. Let's go to the jail and see what we can do. What's he up to and where is he going? We better keep our eyes peeled for trouble. Inside the Undertakers? Let's move up closer and see what he's up to. Jinkies, the Sheriff? But where's Romero? And even stranger, he's making coffins. Take a photo, quick! Gotcha!
Hi. You are back again? That sheriff? We do not like him. Or Costington. He makes us tired. All because of... The oil he found under the old cemetery. Everyone wanted him out, so they started protesting against him. But then everyone disappeared. You should talk to him. Here, we will... Help you escape? With us? Jess, now let's get out of here. Come see us at the cemetery after you go speak to Costington. Hmm. It seems like Costington has a few things to answer. Too easy. Oh, get out of here! Talk to Costington. We will meet you by the new cemetery in a little while. Go! You look concerned. This is about the oil, isn't it? I knew I said too much earlier. Well, I found some oil and might have planned to drill in the cemetery. The people in the town didn't like that. But now, they have all disappeared. Something doesn't seem right. But this hardly incriminates me. Have you seen all the crude graffiti around? I'm the victim here. I mean, perhaps I was being too greedy. The gold I received from Keystone seems to have planted a greed seed in my belly. I'm listening. But you surely can't think it is I causing all of this. After all, I once fought El Scariocci. Oh, truth be known, Romero interrupted our little scuffle and saved me. Please, search my mansion for clues to his whereabouts. Looks like we have a solid lead. Let's search the mansion for signs of Romero. This map should be enough for Costington to figure out where Romero went. Hi! Ew! Ha! Ow! Beast of death, yeah! Ow! Time for dance spreading! We should use those water pots laying around. Bravo! Well, this certainly seems to point to where Romero is. But which location do you think he is at? It looks like Romero is cowering, <coughs> hiding in the new cemetery. Talk to him and you will see I'm the victim here. We'll get to the bottom of this. There's no doubt about it. We need to get into the new cemetery. Here, we open the gate for you. Thanks for dragging us out here. Okay, like it looks like this door is missing some things. Ah! Wow, looks like Romero has been up to some sort of investigation on his own. Let's... You see my brother? He wasn't here when I realized he was gone. You find him in the mausoleum. I cannot go in there. I have already used one pair of pants this month. Hmm, looks like it. Oh, 
Ah, detectives. You have come to the tour guide of all tour guides. Did you know that Miss Swamp Sherry's family lived here a long time ago? I heard that they lived here many years ago. Apparently, their old home is still around somewhere. Oh, man. Locked up super tight. It seems we were invited. Wow, like groovy, man. I love shows. Do you think someone's selling popcorn around here? Time to see who's really causing trouble around here. The sheriff! We have been looking for this man. We? Just what is going on here? Forgive me. I am from the Bureau of Undercover Tactics and Ludicrous Espionage Response. Otherwise known as... Butler. I am a spy. A spy? Oh dear. Yes, because of your love of oil, you were our prime suspect. No outsiders getting their hands on my oil. But after helping Costington move in, I knew he had no time to construct the giant puppet you defeated. So the sheriff wanted the oil? You bet he did. He dressed up the old Day of the Dead mascot in an attempt to scare Costington away. You mean El Scariachi? <laughs> Looks like he scared more than he bargained for. Like the whole town left. See? Costington turned out to be tougher than the sheriff thought. He didn't leave. So he had no choice but to keep the show rolling. Well, then he threw us in jail and tried to blame us. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for you meddling kids. Well, it seems like the curtains closed on this case. <laughs> yum, yum. Scooby dooby doo! All right, well, we've all got stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, sure do. <laughs> <laughs> you boys are up to something. I know it. <laughs> well, boys will be boys. Touch back, back! You are the swamp brats, no? Ah, but you are. Okay, well, let me fill you in, mon ami. I am Philippe, international frog detective. You catch me with those tiny, filthy hands of yours? I might just have some tips or such for you. Who knows? Perhaps a joke or two. And if you're super lucky, I... no, 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 no. I want to spoil it. You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Bonsoir, mon ami! Shaggy, Scooby, I've been waiting for you. Do you have that which I seek? Yep. Here you go. One chili as ordered. But, like, can we eat it instead? <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I'm surprised you made it back so soon. Not as surprised as my mouth's gonna be when I get some of that stew. Oh, oh. Easy. It is not ready yet. Oh, man. Like, it may not be ready, but my stomach sure is. It needs more... More what? Ingredients? <laughs> you, both of you, need to fetch me something else. But before that... Oh, man. Before I tell you where you must go, 
You must place my chickens back in their coop. Oh man, are we talking about live chickens or fried chickens? Please continue down the patch, you king. You will see. I need to concentrate now. Please, do not be disheartened. Put my chickens back in their coop. I need time to concentrate. Like something doesn't add up here, dude. Maybe we're being used. Uh oh, food. Yeah, you're right, Scoop. I gotta get my priorities straight. Yeah, man. Nothing like a bit of manual labor to get your metabolism going. <laughs> Lila's gotta be done now, dude. Let's get back there before I pass out. Is it ready? Oh, please. Please tell me it's ready. <laughs> the chickens were at test, like the dojo. I still need one more thing. But, like... Do not give up on me. I've never been so close. To a stew? To releasing the darkness in my heart that keeps me trapped. Darkness? Huh. So, like, you really can't leave the swamp? No, I cannot. No more questions. With every question, I can feel it growing stronger. I'm close to losing control of it. It? Boop. <laughs> I don't think I want to know what it is. Right, Scoob? Uh -huh. Just do what I ask and you will have your food. It's cool. We don't want to rain on your witch parade, so just just tell us how to get fed. Head to Howling Peaks. I will contact you as before. Take this. It will aid you. Now go. All right, Lila. We'll see you later. To the clubhouse, Scoob. Sweet. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Man, we were lucky last time, but there's like no chance the gang's gonna want to go to Howling Peaks. Trophy? Like, man, it's a letter! Here I come! It's no good, dude. All I can think about is Lila's stew. man
better win to get some food. <laughs> Looks like a killer bite, man. <laughs> Man, check out that medallion! So get your mittens on and bring the gang to love Anna. So how about it, gang? What do you say we go visit Anna and have a real break? Yes. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Well, like that worked out, Scoob. What worked out? You two are awfully excited. <laughs> we're uh, we're always excited. <laughs> hmm. It's settled then. We're off to Howling Peak for a real break. Great. Uh -huh. Howling Peaks. If you forget how to get there, contact me. Gee, we haven't seen Anna in ages. Yeah. Are you excited, Daphne? Definitely. I haven't seen her since she moved up here after the Phantom fiasco. <laughs> I would rather visit your cousin than the Phantom any day. <laughs> oh, please tell me that was the engine. I feel sick. Hey guys, are you all right? Oh. Here, quick. You'll freeze to death. What are you guys doing here? I heard the crash and just saw the van here. Are you okay? Oh, I do. That was a close call. <laughs> Anyways, we came as soon as Daff got your letter. You okay? But the mail has been out of service for weeks. It doesn't matter, as long as you're okay. You sure have come at a strange time. Things have been quite dangerous around here lately. You all look freezing. Head to Moose's shop, just here to the right, and he'll suit you up. <sighs> He's dreamy. I'll radio ahead so he knows you're coming. What? Yeah, man, like I'm almost a popsicle. <laughs> like where he... Oh, man, like I think this is Moose's shop. Let's... No problem, babe. Hey. Little dudes. Hey, guys. Welcome to my shop. Take some time to wander around and check it out. When you're ready, I've hooked up some fat gear for you. It's over near the changing rooms. Hit it up. Go and gear up, guys. Cruise back when you're done. Whoa! You guys look sick! I definitely know my stuff, man. You came at the best time, yo. All the tourists have been scared away. Right. Although the runs aren't very good now. Yeah, since all the snow machines have disappeared, that's a real shame. Cruise up to Chalet and see Anna. What a cool chick. She just gave me the raddest key ring out of the blue. Later, guys. Maybe I'll see you cruising down the mountain. Yeah! Hey guys, I'm over here. You guys look great. How was Moose? Did he say anything about the keyring? Oh, I hope he likes it. 
Looks like the radios are working too, which is great. You never know when you'll run into trouble here. If the weather wasn't bad enough, now there's something lurking around out there. And all of our snow machines have disappeared. <coughs> the upside is there's no tourists. <laughs> I had some lift tickets here for you, but they've gone missing, like everything else around here. Sergio, my manager, might have some, but he ran off crying like a baby. With some detective work, you might be able to find him. <gasps> He's such a wimp. Use your magnifying glass and see if you can find him. That big baby will be hiding somewhere. Whoa! Like man in beast out! <laughs> Hopefully Sergio can totally let us in! <laughs> like dude, I hear someone- Hello, hello! Oh, whatever you do, don't take my fire! It's keeping those little terrors away! What's up, man? I, I'm not leaving this room, so don't even try and make me! Uh, how about we make a deal, eh? Yup. Look, look, look. All I have is this key to the cabin out there. Uh, you know, the one with the footprints. I will trade it for some supplies. I'm running low in here. Uh, uh, first up, find me some fresh tissues. I'm so plucked up. Can't sneeze at that deal, man. <laughs> Let's find those tissues. Our cue. Let's like follow it while we've got the chance. Ooh, yummy. Shaggy, Scooby. Looks like you've got the right idea. Follow the scent. Layer <laughs> burger lasagna. <laughs> Like, man, I thought this was gonna be Lila's p- Hey, you. Yeah, you guys. Over here. Come here. Yeah, you two. You look like strapping young lads. Don't be shy. What's your names? Never mind. Listen, I need a favor of sorts. Who? <gasps> oh, I can see it in your eyes. You're looking for a crypt. I remember when I was young. <laughs> Always looking for crypts. Anyway, I've seen a crypt around here. Yeah, in the deep dark forest there's a crypt. Right near the wolves. Oh, pardon the manners. I'm Bazza Buckley. At your in-service. In-service? Wolves? Yeah, in-service. Fair's fair, mate. Until you've done something for me, I won't do nothing for you. Anyway, that favor? As you can see, I'm quite busy here. If you could snag me some photos of them wolves, I'll owe you one. And you never know when you might need me, the legend, Bazza Buckley, to give you a hand. Hey, Scoob! Like, do you think that cabin we searched was his? I don't know. Either way, I think we should help him. He, like, looks like he has skills and stuff. Velma, like what's happening? Finally! We're stuck in the chalet! Where are you? Can you look around for a local or someone who could help us get out? Like for sure, Velma. I think I know just the guy. Over. I know. We'll get Baz to help us. And if he doesn't, we'll hold his photos for ransom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Top job. I heard your friend's little distress call on me radio. 
You help me, so I'll help you, as promised. I saw you was eyeing me pile of beans before, too. I found a stash on the summit of Allen Peak. I just grabbed as many as I could and legged it. Could bring the ceiling down with the gas they gave you. But they're mighty tasty. Anyway, meet you back at the chalet. I'll bring my baby. Go on, fellas. I'll meet you at the chalet. Sounds like that girl is someone you don't want to keep waiting. Told you guys I'd help out. Plus, it'd be no fun if most of you were locked up. <laughs> anyway, I think that receptionist wants to work. Thank you so much. I thought we'd never get out. Listen, why don't you guys... Anyone out there? Someone get down here to help me. Nature called and nature came and now it... It's here! Oh my. Sounds like trouble down at the logging yard. We'll be here all day if we manually search the frequencies. There's a radio room just past Sergio's cabin. That should speed things up. Get in there and use the old radio to reply to Dustin's distress call. He's the logging supervisor down there. For sure, man. Find the radio room, just past Sergio's cabin. Sergio will have the key to get in. Who is it? Go away! Oh, you! Oh, your bag! Oh, great! Oh, I have eaten all of my soup. Uh, fetch me some more, eh? Oh, man. I uh, have the radio room key for you, eh? <laughs> Can you get me some more soup? Please, please, please. I can't go out there. Okay. Uh, I owe you one. Uh, this time, I'll need beans and broccoli soup. Okay? Beans and broccoli. Now go. But be careful. It's out there somewhere. Oh, man. Beans and broccoli soup? Who is this guy? If it were me, I'd ask for a hot dog with extra mustard. Oh boy, it smells so good. I'm sure he won't notice if I eat half. Made to perfection. Here is your key, kids. Now, don't forget about me, though, eh? Check up on me, please, please. Like, whoa, 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 to the radio room, man! One part? Oh, man! Well made 
short work of that snow. Hey, come here! I got something to say to you! You took long enough. What are you still doing standing here? I bet you're the ones who nicked all my logging equipment, too. Ah, get out of here! After the beast! It's probably heading for the deep, dark forest. See if you can catch it. Oh, and I'll take my key back, thank you very much. Now scram! I've got secret work to get on with involving that there catapult. So don't touch it! Finally! Yeah, go on! Good! Get out of here! Go and have a look around the deep, dark forest. See that Yeti? It came through here, all right. I saw him. I didn't hide. Nope, not me. Baza Buckley don't hide from no one. I watched it smash its way into the deep, dark forest. As you can see, though, the entrance is blocked. I found a secret entrance in the base of a tree further into the deep, dark forest, just before the wolves. I left some empty bean cans by it. You'll be able to get into the deep, dark forest that way. Probably should have told you that earlier, hey? <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, ooh, what's that? Something's off about this guy, but we have no other option. Let's head to the deep dark forest and search for the hidden passage. Crash the lifts on his way up the mountain. Looks like it still works, but I don't think it can hold everyone. Shaggy and Scooby should be able to use it. Okay, Shaggy, Scooby, go ahead. Don't worry, it's more sturdy than it looks. Oh, 
really do we have to? I mean, Scooby-Doo is, like, terrified of heights. Yes, I'm afraid you'll have to. But I hear there's some delicious mushrooms up there. And from what Daphne tells me, you're both quite the food connoisseurs. Hey, Scoob, ice cap mushrooms. Let's go. You got it, Anna. I thought you were afraid of heights. Exactly! Oh man, there's no more snowboards, but there's plenty of scraps. Too bad they're not food scraps. Let's get them all and piece them back together. Hi, oh, dude! The missing lift tickets! Looks like Moose has been hogging them! Anna should see this. So, like, let's get back to the chalet. So, like, what do you think these lift tickets mean? Sure makes Moose look kind of guilty. So Moose had the lift tickets after all? Well, I I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I don't like that big, stinky Baz. I bet he planted them. Please, just have a look around the chalet first. It can't be Moose. So many other things have disappeared, too. A lot of our display animal parts have disappeared. Why don't you use your magnifying glass to find out what's missing? Then take some photos of the missing parts and bring them back to me. Then we can look at them together. So please, take a look around the chalet and take photos of any other missing items you can find. It just can't be. But man, there's always next time. Oh, come on! There's no handout here! Sure, you may have helped me, but I was the brains of the operation. I'm not the supervisor around here for no reason. And you're not getting your grubby hands on my key. I'm cooking. Now shoot! Hey, look! The key! Maybe we can use this catapult to smoke him out. There! A pressure switch! Quick, let's get the key. Be a nice addition. Watch for mold. Yep, this is the same key we used earlier. Let's get that crane online. I guess my technical understanding of cranes finally did come in handy. I seems like he's in a really bad mood. I don't think we're going to be able to subdue him easily. My mistake. Now that he's no longer an issue, let's use the magnifying glass and see if we can find a way in. Interesting. 
They seem to react to the magnifying glass. I wonder if we have to hit them in order. Looks like we figured it out. Let's head inside for some deep investigation. I'm in a bit of an inverse pickle here. The mystery tracker's coming through with the goods, eh? Those dirty little frost dingoes keep attacking me. All I need is some time to get free, and I'll be laughing. Can you keep them off me for a bit? Here come the little critters now. Quick, see those barrels? The ones on fire? Yeah, grab them and put them around me. They don't like fire. Uh, here they come. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, guys. Am I glad I met you lot? Now, to return the favor. You guys are looking for a way out, yeah? Well, I just so happen to find a secret passage. No, honestly, it's along that back wall. I swear on me mum's father's brother's son's best friend's dog that it's there. Trust me, do I sound crazy to you? <laughs> Check the back wall. Secret entrance guaranteed, mate. that stole the logging equipment must be camping out here. That cabin looks nice and cozy. I suppose the polite thing to do is knock and see if Moose is home. Yo, is that you, Moose dude? Huh? Hey. Oh, it's not Moose. It's not Moose, guys! Yo, Moose ain't here, so unless you're him, you ain't coming in. <laughs> rules is rules, man. Go back to the beginner slopes. <laughs> it's all him, man. Well, that wasn't very nice. I guess we should hide somewhere and wait for Moose. of Moose and his buddies. Let's record them and see what we can find. So you guys got that down? You think you can remember all that? Hey, we helped you get all the equipment you needed and he didn't catch us, right? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, man. Where's the key ring at it gave What? Oh man, I don't know. Probably came off during that gnarly run before. <laughs> Do you think she'll notice? Totally. Let's hope not. Anyway, I'm off to the summit to finish my preparations. I'll catch you dudes later. The summit? That sounds dangerous. Guess we should use the ski lift and see what he's up to.
Frank and Moose leader. Let's not forget about the mastermind of this operation. No. Oh, come on, guys. It was just a prank. A very dangerous prank. You and your friends have hurt a lot of people, Moose, Ooh. including me. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Mr. Inc. You guys are 50% better than 100% amazing. Now it all makes sense. You stole the lift tickets to stop people from heading to the summit. <laughs> Dude, you should have used the snow machines to make snow cones instead of the blizzard. And if I know costume making, and I do, this giant yeti was made from all the missing animal parts from the chalet. Yeah, and my precious equipment. Why? Why would you do this? This mountain was ours, man. And so they brought all those tourists along. You wanted to scare everyone off the mountain, so you could have the place to yourself. I could have boarded in peace if it weren't for you meddling dudes and dudettes. Well, I'm sure you'll find a sense of peace when you help fix the damage you've done. Breaker, breaker, Lila, we got the ice cap mushrooms. Over. <laughs> I think you boys can explain that on the way home. <laughs> She told us not to tell you! Like you're endangering the feast! We just want to meet her, that's all. But like, dude, you don't get it. That will mean no feast! Oh. <laughs> I know, Scoob. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Do you guys... Just going to finish some stuff up here. So you go on ahead. Just be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, watch yourselves, okay? And we'll be there soon. It's like every time I smell it, it gets better. <laughs> Let's just hope she lets us have some. out there and wants us for supper, even without the mushrooms! This is it, Scooby-Doo. This time, I can feel it in my nostrils. Uh, nope, haven't found her yet. Like, take your time. Over. Oh, man, it's in the water. <laughs> yeah. Like, that makes it less scary. <laughs> This swamp is, um, something lives here. Goop. <laughs> something creepy. You mean besides Lila? 
Yeah, man! <laughs> oh, man! They are here! You're here. Good. This lair's kind of creepy. What type of girls do you boys hang out with? Yeah, okay. Let's check this out. I can't wait to meet our new friend. Friend? I think that's still undecided. Hi, Lila. I'm Fred, and this is the rest of the gang. Daph- Shaggy, Scoob. Did you bring that which I desire? Yeah, like we got it. Scoob? Yup. Here. No! It's addressed to you, Daphne. So get your mitts on and bring the gang to Love Anna. That's creepy. There's a whole bunch of them. Cheekies. Our phone number is written on this pinup board. There are photos of us, too. But why is she so interested in us? I thought it was strange when Costington said he didn't have a phone. It looks like Lila made the phone call, pretending to be Costington. Looks like she wrote those, too. <laughs> Wait, please. One second. Nothing is as it seems. I know I look like a crazy witch, but the truth is, I just needed help. Like, why didn't you just ask? I thought you wouldn't believe me. My family moved away long ago, but I had to stay with Suji. And she needs food from the swamp, but I've been trying for so long to make something I can take with me, so Suji can come too. And so you had us get what you needed? Yes. Thanks to you and Scooby, Suji and I can finally rejoin with my family. Thank you, all of you. And please, forgive Suji. She's just very protective of Oh, man. Come on! I knew it! Oh! So, like, does that mean we don't get any food? <laughs> I wouldn't exactly say that. Oh, God! <laughs> 